Ah. What's up, everybody? This is your buddy, Bola. And tonight, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. Uh, I've kind of wanted to do a little chatting segment on the stream before. Um, but it's a little hard when you don't have a topic in mind. So I figure, you know, I don't know if we'll get a lot of chatting tonight. But I'll just talk about something that I have interest in. And uh, that thing is gotcha games. Tonight, we're going to be talking about gotcha games. And I'm the kind of person that has to stay away from gotcha games. Because I am the kind of person that doesn't know when to stop. Um, I've played a few gotcha games before. Uh, but they were kind of... They were kind of relegated to phones until recently. Uh, now you can get gotcha games on Steam. And that is not very good for me at least um probably one of the big gacha games that i played was uh disgaea disgaea has a gacha game hey what's up cyber good to see ya yeah we've got uh, a few different things on the stream i've worked on some layouts in my downtime we've got the little up and coming sign and my social there and uh, we've got the chat up here on its little sign. But yeah, uh, tonight we're talking about gotchas. Um, and the reason that I chose gotchas for tonight is because there's a new gotcha out, and that's Limbus Company. And Limbus Company is a sequel to Library of Arena, which is a sequel to Lobotomy Corporation. And those are both games that I really, really enjoyed. Like, really, really. Like, I kind of fell backwards into Danganronpa. And, uh... Really, really enjoyed that. And I kind of fell backwards into Library of Arena. Because for a while, I thought Arena was a gotcha. Which is why I didn't play it. <laughs> uh, but then I found out that it wasn't. And I had a friend tell me, Well, if you don't play Lobotomy Corporation, you're going to be missing out on a lot. And it's true. It's it's a very direct sequel. And if you don't have knowledge of some of the stuff that happens in that game, you will be missing out on a lot. You can play it without it, but I think you'll be missing stuff. So I went back and I played Lobotomy Corporation, and I just loved it. Like, I adored it. For those who don't know, uh, Lobotomy Corporation is a Korean monster management simulator um it's a little bit like scp but uh the flavor of horror that it has i think is really enjoyable uh it's, it's just different it's different than a lot of things that i've seen uh the monster designs are actually pretty neat uh but uh it's a game that you have to spend a lot of time with there are a few things that are maybe a little bit not so good about it. Um, I don't particularly like games where to get like the canon true ending you have to get 100%. And getting 100% in this game is actually very difficult and it takes a long time. But I did it. I was kind of sour by the time I did it. But I did it and I think it was worth it. And then I got into Arena, and that game was was just amazing. Like, the Bonnaby Corporation was like the little indie game, and then Arena was like the... Oh yeah, it's, it's Project Moon. They're technically an indie company still, but they have like cafe collaboration deals with this uh, diner in Korea. They've got... Um, Limbus Company now, which is the gacha that we'll be talking about. So I was going into Limbus Company after playing Lobotomy and Marina. Kind of excited, but also a little worried because I found out that it was a gacha game. And people are playing it, they're enjoying it. I will preface this. If you enjoy gacha games and you can play them without any issue, then I... You know, good for you 
good for you. That's uh, that's not me, uh, and that's that's not a lot of people. But um, I find myself unable to enjoy it, probably the way that other people do. Just because, yeah, people say that it's not as bad and not as predatory as some of the other gacha games out there, but it's still a gacha game, like, at its heart. And it still has some of the gacha trappings that other games have, like the pull banners. Like, uh, gacha games will usually ha lock stuff behind limited time banners. I don't know if their banners are limited time or not, but it still creates that kind of fear of like not getting what you want because I think it they call them focus target banners or something and uh, the idea is that if you pull on it you've got a better chance for it and then once that's over it goes into like some other banner where you get lesser chances and um, I played through the first dungeon I don't know you know I'll, pr I'll try not to spoil things but um the combat wasn't doing it for me. It felt like it was dumbed down from Arena, where all you had to do was just match colors. I didn't feel like there was any kind of real strategy involved. Um, the bosses were cool. Like, the, the character designs are cool, and the story that's there is, is pretty cool. I can see why people would enjoy that. But, um... Outside of that, I kind of dipped after the first dungeon. Especially now that the game's been out for a while, and now we're getting the... We're getting the pull videos from people, which... It's, you know, when people post, Oh, I pulled 150 times and I didn't get... You know... Oh... How to put this? In most gacha games, you're pulling for characters. And in this game, you have all the characters at first and you're pulling skins but they're more than skins like you're pulling like combat sets almost and all the skins are based on stuff in uh Ruina and lobotomy corporation from what i see and i can just see me like if i got into this game if it came out with like eight o'clock circus stuff or you know some other kind of thing from Rurina it would create that kind of like oh I, I really want that and I would be pulling on a banner that has like less than 1% chance to do it and I just can't do that anymore like it, it's something that I actively stay away from so I kind of just wish it was a regular game and not a gacha a little bit disappointing in that regard, you know? But what are the good things? Um, really pretty art. The art's really pretty. Characters are good. The bosses are neat. Um, they apparently have stuff... Like, it's something that there's always something to do. But I don't know how much of that is just the kind of normal gacha grind... Like, they really... They want you to play as, as much as you can. Because every time you log in, you see the banners and stuff. And... I don't know. Again, if, if you're the kind of person that can play that kind of stuff, good for you. But it's something that I have to take care of. But anyway, that's, that's the discussion on gotchas for tonight. Um... If there's any gotchas that you guys play, any kind of, or, or if you've even played Limbus Company and you're and you're thinking, well, that's that's wrong, that's completely wrong. You, you've got the game all wrong. Please tell me, because <laughs> um, maybe there's something that I'm not getting, but it just didn't seem to resonate with me the way the other games did. But yeah, that is our little chat section for tonight so from here we'll do a little bit of salmon run
because they've got some new gear in Salmon Run, and I just love the hell out of Salmon Run. I really do. Hey, Dihona. Well, that's a that's a lot of emotes. I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, that's oh. Mm. It, it looks like cat person. Oh. Yeah, you got me. <laughs> Have no idea how to say that. But welcome, welcome. Um, the reason that I want to do these chat things is to just kind of encourage a little bit of interaction before the streams. I know I'm pretty small right now, um, but I think it would be nice to be able to start streams with a little bit of discussion about topical things. Um, and definitely this is something that I could talk more about at length if you think that there's like a little bit more to it. I, I especially think that, I don't know if it's a game where you have to say that you're 18 or, or older to play it, but gacha games in specific, like I don't think, pe I don't think young people should be playing those because they have kind of the, oh, what am I trying to say? They designed them to feed into that kind of gambling tendency where, you know, humans are very conditioned to, like, randomness. You know, they they they're, they 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 get excited. Uh, that's why, you know, I, I like my slot machines. I used to do those, and I don't do those anymore. But uh, in-game gotcha stuff. Like, the best, the best gotcha I ever played wasn't even a gotcha. And it was back in, I believe, Ape Escape either 2 or 3. And you could get coins in the game. I, I, I want to say it was two, number two. And there was this big, literal gotcha machine where you would feed the coins in and you would just get random stuff. Like you would, you could get um, pictures or you could get, um, I don't know if you could get costumes, but you could get like music. You could get concept art from the game. Um, and I just, I love collecting things like that which is why you know for when an actual gacha game comes out i want to collect all the things even though i don't really need them or that it's stuff that i might never use like i don't just pull for my favorite character i mean i mean i do do that if i did that but i would want to get everything which is why you know i have to stay away from it uh, Limbus is a game that I, you know, I had somebody in chat saying that they didn't pay any real money, which, if you can do that, I, you know, that's absolutely something you can do. My issue is that a lot of times when they make it so you can just use the free money that they give you from doing things, they make, they tend to make things very grindy to where you have to do repeated tasks over and over again, which... In Limbus Company, I, I saw this kind of notice that they put out where it was like, if we sense that you're using automated techniques in uh, the dungeons that we have that you can just like do over and over again, then your account will be banned. And right now, there's no multiplayer component. So I don't really understand what the point of that is. Like... It, you, you made you made it grindy and people don't want to grind it so they made a machine to grind for them and you're saying that you don't want them to do that it's kind of like a, it, it, it just shows that you've done you've made something that is not fun when you do it over and over but that's kind of the stance a lot of uh, a lot of designers have where it's like we don't want them to do this because then somebody could get super ahead but again like i don't think there's any leaderboards i don't think that there's any kind of multiplayer component so it's like who are you getting ahead of or, or you know how are you enjoying it on a higher it's it's game genie <laughs> it's game genie you can't cheat yourself you know if you're having fun with it then what's the problem but yeah they tend to give out a lot of free... They're giving out a lot of that free currency now to kind of 
I guess, get people more involved. Which, there's a kind of business line behind that, but... Yeah. I'd say that's about all I have to say on the matter for tonight. You're, you're probably waiting for, like, actual gameplay and stuff. So, I will show you this, though. I'm pretty proud of this. So here we are. We're in our, our little hub area. Hey, buddy. Oh, you came just in time. We just got past all the boring talking stuff, and now we're going to have some gameplay. Streamy for gameplay. How about that? But we've got the garden outside. We've got here, where we've... I, I'm kind of bringing you inside. And then... What are we playing tonight, huh? What's it gonna be? Ah! Nintendo Switch. Am I good at Splatten? Uh... I'd say I'm pretty good at Splatten. I'm actually doing pretty well. Thank you. I hope you all are doing well, too. Sorry, I just have to... do something here. There we go. But yeah, I do like my Slatin, and I do like my Salmon Run, so that's what we're going to be doing tonight. Let me just make this bigger. I, by the way, I gotta say, I love this thing. I love that they added this jukebox. I like that I can listen to the music whenever I want to. Because, like, the music is probably the best thing about Splatoon. I really like that they added the, uh, the fucking fish remixes. God, I love it. In general, I just love music. It's probably one of my favorite things. Vocaloids I'm not that much into, but I, I could definitely see the charm behind it. I guess kind of a parallel to that is they have the virtual concerts. I love it when they put on virtual concerts. Like, they put on a bunch of Splatoon virtual concerts, and those were really fun to watch. Let, let's see what people are saying. What's the talk of the town? Uh, it's, it's more full of posts, okay. More autism creatures, okay. <laughs> Mario! <laughs> okay, I, I like that. I like I like a good marrow. Oh. You, I'll give you a fresh because you look like you're kind of mad. Spring break. Oh yeah, that's right. It's spring break, isn't it? <laughs> I don't know what you're mad about, but okay. Let's see. Yeah, okay. Oh, happy birthday. Happy birthday, little small fry. <laughs> the, the spy from TF2. Yeah, it is almost the weekend. <laughs> More. <laughs> I like it when they just write a single word. Where's Luma? There are a lot of Mario's. Apparently, apparently that movie is doing very well with audiences and very mid with critics. Which, I don't know how to feel about it. It's kind of like if you've got somebody who just loves the shit out of chocolate. And they're eating a chocolate bar and they're just loving it. And then some guy comes up and it's like, you know, that's not real food. Like, if you wanted, like, an actual food, you could eat, like, a sandwich or a, a bowl of soup. And they're like, 
I don't care. <laughs> I liked. I was waiting for this chocolate bar all all day. Yeah, I have not seen the Mario movie. It's something that I can't really do during the week. I mean, I want to say yes. The movie is just for fans and nostalgia, and that's fine. I think people are coming in with pretty low expectations because the only other Mario movie that we've had is the fucking... Bob Hoskins, John Leguizamo movie that was just awful and they spent most of their time on the set drunk. Oh, you going on a date? How you look? What do you think? I think he looks okay. I think you'll do fine. Yeah, the 1993. So when that movie came out, it bombed hard. And that was a period of time where Nintendo was still just kind of letting their properties be used for whatever. Like the whole Philips CDI, Zelda and Mario thing. Look that shit up, because that would never happen today. Like, they just offer their properties left and right. And ever since then, they have... <laughs> it's kind of amazing that a Mario movie happened at all today. Hey, I'm, I'm not bad talking. Mario is missing. Like, when I heard Mario was missing, I really wanted to find Mario. I was like, where could he be? Spawning grounds. I don't see people's issue with spawning grounds. Like, it's not that great, but it's not terrible. People just don't like the grates on the right. Or the left. Uh, ooh, heavy splash. Mm. I kind of didn't look at the weapon rotation. I'm going to be spending a lot of my time up here. I'm still at fairly low, low rank in this, huh? Oh boy. Sorry, I'll read chat when I can. This is a uh, this is a little intensive here. Okay, clearly I have to go to deal with the stinger. attempt to, like, get close. Or are you just gonna stay over here? Sorry, I... I need to not badmouth my team. It's, it's okay. It's fine. This is fine. No, it, it's good. It's all good. You know what? They all did their best. And that makes everyone a winner in my book. Uh, minigame movies. The Mario movie isn't going to be the next. Uh, I think it was there with Kinsey fans. Oh, yeah. Like, that's. The thing is, I don't think anyone's expecting 
Shakespeare or like anything like super good. Like it, it's an Illumination movie. I don't think we're gonna get the next big thing out of that. Yeah, bye. Uh, <laughs> sorry. Uh, but I think if if you if you like Mario, I think you'll probably like it. You know, if you like Mario and Donkey Kong, the movie will be like, hey, you remember Mario and Donkey Kong? Hell yeah, I remember that. Well, here they are. <laughs> it's Seth Rogen's Donkey Kong. So, here's one thing I want to know. And, you know, if you've seen the movie already, don't like spoil it for me. But here's a couple things that I, I'm curious about, okay? I'm curious about. I'm curious if... At the end of the movie, Chris Brett actually, like, tries and does a Mario Wahoo, or if he's just, like, boring through the whole thing. Um, I'm curious if there's any point in the movie where Toad squeaks, where he makes that squeaky sound that he made in the Super Show. I'm curious how many of the Donkey Kongs, like, the extended family, like, we got Cranky, obviously. We got DK. Uh, do we have... We probably have Diddy, right? Do we have Dixie? Do we have Kitty Kong? Do we have Chunky? Or is he dead? That's the kind of things I'm curious. Where, where are all the bosses at? They must be taking care of them before I can see them. Or maybe I should just pay attention. Who knows? Stinger, you can take care of that. I really hope I don't die out here, that's embarrassing. I took care of the Stinger, but at what cost? I mean, Pratt's not bad. He's just not that good. <laughs> Is the thing. And there's that argument that's being made. It's like, he can't do the Charles Martinet Wahoo Bing Bong Look at Me voice the whole movie. It would get annoying. And I kind of get that. And I'm not saying it should... I'm not saying it should be the Charles Martinet voice. He shouldn't just ape that. What I'm saying is, it should be better than just his voice. Like, it should be something different. and then take care of that stinger. <laughs> Struggle. This whole thing just kind of makes me think about how old Charles Martinet is. Like, he's getting up there. 
He's sad to say the time doesn't wait for any man. He's gonna leave us someday. And I'm thinking about what that day is gonna be like, cause he's... You know how it is when like a celebrity dies. But for him specifically, I can just imagine it'll be it'll be a huge thing. No, they would not give Pratt. They would not give that. No. They're gonna find somebody else. Actually, you know what? I hope. I hope Charles Martinet does retire. I hope he gets to the point where it's like, okay, I, my work here is done. I think he's given. He's given more than enough to have that privilege, I think. I want him to reach retirement age and just be like, you know what? Maybe travel the world, do whatever he wants. He kind of does whatever he wants right now, I think. Be a good team member and pass the X back. I just hope that somebody is there to pick them up. Ugh. I've got an egg. Okay, cool. I mean, you know the Mario movie is going to be financially successful. You know what? That's... Yeah. I really want the sequel to be about Wario. Like, just, just how, like, in the Sonic movie, they teased Shadow at some point. I want them to be like, I want Wario to pop up and just be like this fat, you know, <laughs> just as gross as possible, you know. I'm honestly surprised they didn't do that. Cause that was one of the things that I was thinking about, and I don't know what they teased at the end. Would I want Nanny to be a divorce Wario? I feel like he'd do it best, honestly. Like, I can't think of anything else. Like, he, the internet has courted him to voice stuff in the past. They were like, you know, remember when everyone wanted him to be Detective Pikachu? Like, I don't... His response to that was, what's a Pikachu? Which, come the fuck on, my man. You know what a Pikachu is. You just... You're just pretending to not know. <laughs> But yeah, I don't know who else could be Wario. There we go. Good job. Good job, team. I got you, buddy. Okay, what's, uh... Where am I getting attacked from? Oh, we got two stingers over here. I need to take care of that. It's okay, I took care of the stingers, guys! <laughs> oh no, come on, guys. 
Just two more eggs. Come on, just two more. Ah. But no, I, I kind of relate... I kind of relate Danny DeVito with Bob Hoskins. And I know that's a little bit weird, but they... In my mind, they have both kind of similar builds. And they've played... They played similar characters. Like, uh... Bob Hoskins famously played the detective in Roger Rabbit. And... Like, Bob Hoskins was classically trained. Like, he was actually a very classy, uh, classy kind of guy. Uh, but he... He played the detective. And then he played Mario in the Mario movie, which... Oh, what am I trying to say? It's just hard to imagine him being like that after you've seen him in interviews. Which... By the way, he, he talked about his time on that set, and he said it was the worst thing he's ever done. He said it was a fucking nightmare. Yeah, so... The production of the first Mario movie was a nightmare, because... Uh, the people that produced it, I don't know who it was. I think they're either, like, changed names or out of business. But they had... They were looking for producers and actors for it before they actually had a working script. Like, apparently they just got the rights from Nintendo and then they were shopping people around before they even had a script. And they, they kept losing people. Like, I think Tom Hanks was on board at some point. Um, and people kept leaving because there was no script in place. And then at that point they said, okay, we need a script. And they got, they got one guy to write a, a, a production script for it. And it was a really different movie. Like, it, if you've seen Matt, Mc, Matt McMuscle's channel, What Happened, is actually a really funny and well put together channel about just like disasters in game production and movies and stuff. But yeah, they had one script on hand and they... it, it wasn't working because it was like a... It, it was too emotional, I think. Like it was about a road trip with this guy and his brother. And they asked for him to change it, and he was like, nope! <laughs> so he walked. Ah. Help me, help me. Oh boy, we need to get rid of that flyfish prano. Where is it? Where is it? Ah. I got knocked off course. You know what? Here's what you get. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah, the live-action Dragon Ball was another... I think that one was so bad that, um... I should know this. Who's the guy who makes it? Uh... Akira... Who's the, who's the original manga author? Akira Tezuka... I know someone's gonna tell me eventually. But, um... He kind of, like, retired and was ready to move away from Dragon Ball. And the movie came out, and it's like he didn't want the movie, like that awful movie, to be, like, the last thing that Dragon Ball fans remember, like, the last thing that they have. So it's like, nah, I'll, I'll come back. 
and make more Dragon Balls so that that doesn't have to be the last memory. Was it Akira Yama? I know it's Akira something. Okay, that's it, yeah. Akira Toriyama. Which, Dragon Ball... I... I like it. Don't get me wrong. There's just a lot of it that I haven't seen. And that I don't really, like, have any interest to go see. Like, I've watched a couple of arcs, and it's like... I think that's enough for me. Because there's just so much of it. You could... You could watch it for days. All I really know about is the Majin Buu arc. Because that's what was on TV when... You know, that's the arc that was on Toonami when I was in school. And I thought that one was pretty cool. You got to see, like... You got to see evil Vegeta. You got Majin Buu, which... Uh, he, Majin Buu's hilarious. I like it when the villains are funny. Sorry, I have to... I have to deliver these eggs. Decent. 40. Has anyone done extra work? Apparently egg... Well, wait, no. You can't have done it. It's not here yet. But are you excited for extra work? It's like Big Run, except... Uh, except instead of a trophy, trophy, you get a sticker, and it's not quite as random. There's something near me. Hey, Rick. Come here. Come here. Over here this way. Oh boy, we have multiple stingers. We've got to take care of this. Eh. It's okay, I can res myself. Fisher one, just one. shoot down the balloons, otherwise they become a big pain in the ass. Oh good, low tide. Actually, that that might not actually be good. I don't have high ground. Okay. 
I'm, I'm the, kind of the sniper weapon, so I need to be getting... I need to be focusing on these guys. I have not experienced light speed mud mouse. I have experienced light speed UFOs, but not mud mouse. I don't think that's a thing anymore. I think they fixed that. Oh, we got too many of these damn jaws. I feel like I was out of the radius of that. Rewards still, still not that good. Good job, team, though. Good job, good job. I know they probably can't hear me. They're probably not watching either. But I'm, I'm sending my spirit energy. Oh wow, 46. That is a lot. I feel like I was probably the weak link in that chain. not sure if I'll go to the theater to see the Mario movie. I might wait for it to be on DVD. Because I haven't been in a theater in like a long, long, long ass time. But from what I remember, people don't know how to be in a theater anymore. Like it's different than it used to be. Like, I have a feeling if I went to a theater and it was packed, I probably wouldn't like it. Let's see, 
if we get you any closer. Uh, I guess that's close enough. That's another thing. The Rona is still a thing. It didn't go away. It's fucking still a thing. Okay, I really should not be the one dealing with these fish sticks. Yeah, the drive-in. I mean, I, I imagine there has to still be drive-in somewhere, right? Like, that was the ideal. You just drive in. You don't have to get out of your car. Nobody yells at you if you start making out. <laughs> Imagine, well, come to think of it, when they drive, where do they go? I could see them driving just to enjoy driving. But, like, the places for teens to hang out now is kind of, uh, I've talked about this before, it's kind of disappearing. Yeah, like, people in my family, they've had COVID multiple times by now. Like, we're starting to worry about the long-term ramifications. Because long COVID, like, you hear about that. People are just miserable with long COVID. Where, where's that? Where's Goldie? Where? Oh. Thank you. 
Oh yeah, Salmon music is amazing. I was hoping that we would get more remixes for the second big run, but we didn't. I'm hoping we get more in the future. Like I said, music for Splatoon is like the best part of Splatoon. <laughs> My dude! You didn't use those bombs at the start? You didn't use them in the middle? Like, I get we didn't really need them, but like... Still! Use them! Grizz gave them to you. You want to give them back to him? You want to be like, boss! Boss, I did so good, I didn't use the specials you gave me. He doesn't care. You think he cares? You think you're gonna get a raise because of that? Your boss doesn't care about you. <laughs> your boss is the... Any place that calls you a family, they're not your family. It doesn't go on your performance review. In fact, it reflects negatively on you. <laughs> Octopus are more popular in this game than they were in the second game. Like, you see a lot of Octos around. Uh, just take care of you from a distance. Oh boy, that's embarrassing. <laughs> Wow, that's only wave one. Yeah, I guess that's true. But even if they're not locked behind DLC, like, does it feel like we didn't get it in the fur in the second game, and now that it's there, everyone just wants it? I I'm sure some people out there would be like, "Nah, squids are better still."
Ah, uh, that one, that one should have gone. I mean, me personally, I like the Octos better. Just because I like that their... Their culture is different. Like, they used to live underground. Yeah, I'll give it a booyah. I don't know what we're booyahing for, but yeah. I just like that they look different. Like they're different creatures. Octo Expansion. I really liked that DLC. And that was because... I, I guess I'm kind of skipping steps here. I liked that in 2, the idols were different. Like, the, it was all about, like, differences. Like in the first game, the both, the two of the idols, I didn't really care. I don't like this person. I probably should be paying attention. Because they were just both kind of the same. Like, I know they're a little bit different, but not that much. We might have some trouble with this one, boys and girls. Ah. But no, I, I like it that the second game came out and Pearl Pearl was this tiny little monster and Marina was like this big octopus. And they worked well together. I like when well, I didn't like it, but I remember when the first game when the game came out and people were like, What the fuck is this? They were looking at Pearl and it's like her forehead's too big. She doesn't look pretty. And then they started, like, fixing her, like, making her conventionally attractive. And it's like, I don't think you understand the point. <laughs> I really don't think you understand the point. Oh, I've been invited to play by who? I wonder. Uh, how do I check that? Uh, match me? Uh, joinable. Yeah. Let's join. Sorry! <laughs> uh, good old Nintendo. Yeah, I mean, and it wasn't even that bad. It wasn't Code Lyoko bad. Her forehead was just a little bit big. But I really like the story that they had where it's like... At first, Pearl didn't even know that Marina was any different. Which, that kind of says to me that, like... <laughs> the Inklings are not good people. Like, they had the turf war, and, like, they won the turf war, and they forced all the octopus underground. And then, apparently, like, they can't... T some of them can't tell the difference between themselves and octopus anymore. Which it's like, you know, not only did you win the turf war, not only did you, like, force them underground, where they can't, like, they lived under an artificial sun. And then you just don't teach them about that anymore. And then they come, they start coming up out of the ground, and nobody knows what they are. <laughs> it's like, truly just forgotten.
and then almost immediately afterwards they decided to have a Splatfest about who was the best one. Like, almost immediately. I forget which side ever- I, I want to say that, like, Pearl was about, like, Octopus and Marina was probably, like, Squids. They were probably on opposite sides. I don't know who won, either. I mean... Inklings are probably the best anchors, because, like, they won the war. Yeah, do, do they, like, go to school? When there are a bunch of them in a group, is it called a school? <laughs> Alright, where the fuck is this big shot? Is it over here? No. Oh, the big shot's all the way over here. Fuck me. One thing I thought of is if, if Inklings decide not to do Turf Wars and, like, they just never use their ink, do they get, like, backed up? Do they do they have, like, digestive problems or something because they, they're they not using their ink? Do, do they get, like, squid blue balls or something? need to be focusing on this guy. followed me all the way over here. Sounds like you're the one with the problem, not me. Okay, now I'm the one with the problem. <laughs> a big problem. This is actually a big fucking bur Okay. High tide, dark, high tide blood. Thrillers. Oh boy. I thought I had jetpack for a second. Oh, 
Our roller should be helping with the small fries, I feel like. I feel like that might be something they'd be good at. Okay, two more eggs. One more egg. Oh, ho, ho. Woo! <laughs> that was a little bit too close for comfort. Probably one or two more, I think. I think I'm good for one or two more. Nice. Still invited to play, I guess. Nah, I'm not falling for that again. <laughs> You're just sending invites out to everybody. You don't actually want me to play at all. Now, the pool system is great. Uh, I haven't been able to get into a game using it. But it great. It's great. <laughs> Come this way. Come this way. There you go. Okay, we need to not ignore the stinger anymore. Nothing more embarrassing than dying that way. Um, except for maybe dying this way. I wanted to go in there. I just needed a little shove.
Woo. Good job, team. Okay, th this better not be glow flies. Okay, cool. I could deal with with mothership. I say deal with it like it's not a bonus level. Decent snatcher spawns. We have to try to exercise trigger discipline. catch that one. Am I helping? I don't know if I'm helping. I have a feeling that wasn't actually helping. Lots of eggs over here. Big damage, big damage. If we all focus it down, then just maybe we will lose. <laughs> I got capsules. So I'm gonna go open my capsules so I won't be so mad. Got a second diving helmet though. My big daddy costume is almost ready. <laughs> the 
let's see. What do I want? I'll make it Ink Saver. Why not? I'll just swap it for the next three, you know, the next three slot gear, but I'll keep it Ink Saver for now. Do I have that yet? I don't know if I have that yet. Oh, uh, I could get a fish stick. Um, I could get a fish stick toy. What else could we get? Anything that's just like a ton of bronze, I could probably get. Three hundred. Look at that shit. Three hundred and thirty-three gold. Who's ever gonna get that? Nintendo servers will be shut down before anybody gets that. Oh, that's kind of a cool banner. I don't know. Oh, I don't even have Flipper Flopper yet. Yeah, let's get Flipper Flopper. There you go. I guess we'll aim for fish stick next. I love that you can set your lobby music now. Has needed that for a long time. Anyway, check out my sweet locker. Got the Pearl Marina posters. I got the mountains. I've got the turd riding on the wave. And then in here, I've got my silver Kohozuna statue. It took me. I was lucky to get silver last big run. Wait, whoa, why is Horrorboros so much smaller? Wait, uh, this is so much smaller compared to Koizuna. It's almost like it's the wrong size. Shit, I could probably just put both of them in there. Because I, I want it to be like... Kozun is at the bottom watching the the concert upstairs, you know, but he can't get in because he's like no fit. You see no fish allowed. Could probably put him in there too. I don't know. I feel like that's just that ruins the aesthetic flow. Okay, well, let's just put a sticker in here. No, I never did like the whole Moai head thing. I liked stickers better. Just give me a sticker. I wonder if we can put this... Oh, we're at sticker limit. 
Come on, I want more stickers. You should be able to let me put more than that. Ah oh, well, you can't you can't improve on perfection anyway. <laughs> Let's see what else we got here. Kevon. Hello, Kevon. That's cute. Oh, he's got he's got a cold a gold coho. Where is that bronze? I can't tell. No, that's probably gold. That's got to be gold. <laughs> Lots of energy drinks in this one. There's the participation. I, I call it Koho. It's the participation horror boros. Just lots of coffee in here. Oh wait, no, that's that's something I need to do. I need to spend my money. I want to get one of everything. I was, again, it goes back to the beginning where it's like, I'm not going to use most of this stuff. I just want one of everything. Or if it's cheap, I'll buy five of them. Oof, that was expensive. Of course, now I can't afford hats. I am gonna get this, though. Well, you can't have everything, can you? Let's see, what do we want to close us out? I love this one. All right. Well, that was stream for tonight. I think that was fun. I'd like to be able to start streams with a little bit of a chat session. So if there's stuff that you'd like for me to talk about, or if there's stuff that's on your mind. Uh, my social's down there. I've given my tuber their own account. So if you want to ask things about them, you can. Or if there's things that you want to ask, like just games, movies, and stuff in general. Uh, if there's stuff that you'd like to see, just let me know. Um, and that will be it. Hope you guys had fun, and I hope you have a good Friday and a good weekend coming up. It's Easter weekend. I don't know who out there does Easter stuff. I don't really do Easter stuff. But for some people, it's a big thing. So for whatever you're doing, I hope you have a good time. We'll see you later.